All right, here's my iPod Shuffle. Got this yesterday. It's the newest one, 2010. It's the orange one. And you probably see it. it's already been unboxed. It's not really in place. But I put it back together sort of the way it, sort of the way it was, just to show you what it's like. All right. So, open it up, and inside, on a little plastic thingy, is the iPod shuffle. I got the orange model, and I'll get to that in a second. Um, in the box, um, I hope it's whatever. Open it up. It's a little start here guide. Just some simple directions on how to work the shuffle. Eh. This is volume up. This is volume down. It's kind of pathetic, but it is kind of tiny and nicely fit for the little box. Alright, I'm kind of running out of time on my um, SD card. I'm a little product information manual, with warnings and stuff. Um, this is actually at the bottom. There's a, uh, um, same as third generation. It comes with this little miniature charger that plugs into the headphone jack. And it's our earbud earbuds without any controls. And that's about it. Finish the box. And so this is a 2 gigabyte. It's the only version that they made. And here's the iPod. It's got a little clip. Surprisingly, it does not say Apple. Like a lot of devices, oh, like almost all the devices do. So there's Apple. I mean, whoops, sorry. It says iPod. A little clip. It's pretty strong. So it's like the second generation, but a little bit cut out and bigger wheel. It looks kind of gold. There's the voiceover button. The um, shuffle, play button. The headphone jack where it charges. And there's a problem that I noticed. If you try to open the clip, it usually presses this button. That's the only problem I noticed. Otherwise, it's a good product. Oh, no plastic on the bottom like the old ones. Well, bye.